We have tornado threats coming today and hail, wind. After we stayed, let's see, Hurricane Laura, we stayed in a hotel, top floor with 60 mile an hour winds. It was two hours away from the coast where the hurricane hit. We decided we're never going to do that again. So we got a hotel for the night. We had the cats packed up and let me show you what we got. We have our bug out bags packed and then some of the cat stuff. Steve took some stuff out. This is a little cat basket we always ride with. We got the cats packed up. We're going to bring in the walls of the RV, the slides, so it'll just be less damage. Uh, hail, I think, said a level four out of five. So just trying to minimize damage if we can. We're gonna unplug the RV, put the fridge on propane, and I think we're staying like an hour to two hours away from here. And then we'll probably leave the hotel around five, four or five in the morning and come back so Steve can do class tomorrow. We are not hooking up and taking the RV because it's a lot easier just to leave it here and hopefully nothing happens here. And we just are away because out of the RV because staying in an RV during heavy winds and rains is not fun. 20 mile an hour winds, Daisy freaks. She freaks for rain. So a bad storm with lightning, thunder, and hail, she's definitely gonna freak out. So we're just hoping nothing happens here, taking precautions, and hopefully we get a decent night's sleep. We're gonna have to drug the cats at the hotel because Daisy and Diesel do not like being in other places that they don't know about. And Roscoe and Squeak are like, potty, this is going to be an adventure. So Steve's probably gonna be really tired for class tomorrow and we have to put everything back, but hopefully that's just what we're doing. To pay the price to live in an RV and to stay safe. Which one of these is the most important you want in the back seat? Uh, these are our computers, so put that in the back seat and this is clothes. Okay, those are going in the back, this is going in the back seat somewhere. I don't think I'll be able to have a litter box open on the road, though, okay? That's fine, how many hours away is it? Two, two and a half. Oh, yeah, well, uh... Because I gotta stack something somewhere. I can't okay. put it on top of the cage, otherwise it's gonna be tipping over. We'll see when I get in there, I'll do something. Maybe I'll put this down by my feet. Because if the cats have an emergency, they need to use a litter box. I'll put this in the front, and then we'll put this in the back somewhere. Okay. So what do I have to do you, in here with this cord on the ceiling? You gotta push the slide in. I'm gonna watch the cord, make sure it goes where I want it to go. Okay. I would like to stay here longer, but I don't want to say that because I'll probably jinx myself and we'll lose an RV from the tornado. Hopefully nothing's happening in Athens in a little bit. But the ride was terrible. It was, I think, the worst ride we've ever had. Roska started drooling. She, was, she just usually sleeps in the cage and she doesn't want anything. Sometimes she wants out and to sit on Steve's lap. You doing okay, Roska? You want to say hi? <laughs> And when we let her out, Steve's like, what's wrong? And she just had drool, like Beethoven the dog, just drool pouring out of her mouth. And I kept wiping it, we used all the Kleenexes. And then while that happened, Diesel gets out of the cage and he pukes, well he was, he puked in the cage and then Daisy's jumping out. It was terrible. And so I got that cleaned up, but I ran out of Kleenexes. We stopped at a family dollar. Steve bought two more cat blankets and some more Kleenex. And then they all calmed down after that. Right now he's going to get fuel at the love station, getting Cracker Barrel for dinner, and then he has to finish his inspection report and then we're gonna get some sleep. That's like a threat one here. So we should be able to sleep because when we went to Hurricane Laura and we were on the top floor and it was still 60 mile an hour winds, the cats flipped out all night. I think they'll be quiet so we can get some sleep and we plan on leaving here at four in the morning, heading back because we drove two and a half hours to get here. How are you hiding? Nebraska on the king size bed. Little diesels, he just got a pill in him to keep him quiet. He's gonna be zonking out in about a half hour. And surprisingly, Daisy has shut up. She did not when we were in the hotel and 
for Hurricane Laura. She's chilling. She's scared, but she's not meowing, which is not like her. We got the spread. Seat up, get your homework done, go to bed. Maybe. Why? Maybe. Maybe bed. Uh, I think you can sleep here. Oh, okay. The cats aren't going to meow, I don't think. I think you'll pass right out. I might not sleep, but you'll pass out. <laughs> okay, we're going to show you what's in our bug out bags. And I'm going to pop the list up on the screen and put it in the description for you. First of all, we had advance notice. There's this part at the top, but we got to put on shoes and stuff if we're just running and gunning for shelter. But we had plenty of advance notice. So this is bug out bag one. And kind of unzip it. You can see on the list what's in there. But we have one day's supply of clothes, maybe two pair of underwear or something. Up front we have some snacks, some bags that we can easily get to. 20 bucks in case we need some cash. Unzip that so it doesn't fall out. And then inside we have the little cat bag. And then we have a hygiene bag. Safety, Safety glasses. glasses in case we're like actually in the stuff and stuff's flying around. Phone like, charger plus a portable battery pack. Yep, and then these, you don't have to take those out. Those are our two things of clothes. Plus and, two bottles of water, ready to go. Yep, two bottles of water. Then on the side, we put our flashlight. So if we got to get to it, if it's in the dark. Because, you know, bad weather can come at any time mm -hmm. of the day. And then this one we keep flat, but we put our electronics in it. So on the sheet it says to pack it. So I packed it. You can just kind of see what's in there. We also put the stuff from our safe in there. We didn't grab the safe, which is on the list. We really didn't need that. Yeah, wallets, phone, electronics. So and then things. somewhere in here, up in the front, we, somewhere, oh, I think it's up in the top here. This is where I have garbage bags to make this waterproof. This is pretty much waterproof, but in case we're like running in the rain, it has electronics. That way we can put the bag in here first and then put all the electronics in. Always going to be prepared, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, he thinks he's going for a backpack ride? <laughs> That's funny. Okay, I'm having Steve model. So after the dam's broken Sanford and watching people trying to carry their animals, this is our plan where when there's two of us, we each have a bug out bag on the front, a cat on the back, and then... You can have you two can, hands free for two cats or... Yeah, whatever you need. So that way we can something. carry all the cats, have backpacks, whatever we need when there's two of us. And when there's only one of us, I have a plan. It's going to hurt cat my back. In the front, cat in the back. Well, there's a couple cats in the cages and those bags inside of a cage and holding it so that when we get to a spot, I can unload them all to their own cage. Yeah. I did not sleep last night. I was making sure the cats were quiet for Steve. They did pretty good. Daisy only meowed about three times where she was scared, she didn't know where she was at, then she hopped on the bed and Diesel came out of his drugness and started trying to eat Daisy. They do that every single night and then he starts getting really loud. So I had to shut that down right away. But Steve sleeps so he can drive us back and go to school today and I'll sleep in the vehicle and when I get home. Everything looks good, we are back. We knew it should look good because I've been watching the cameras all night and the news channel said a couple areas got hit really bad with tornadoes. And for the record, Steve said if it was up to him, he would not leave unless there's actual a tornado and the sirens are going off. For me, I wake up and I see that there is a level four threat. My anxiety is through the roof. I want to puke. So happy wife, happy life, and we bounce. So I'm going to go in and get some sleep.